we know moment of inertia is a physical quantity which draws in parallel to the mass of the translatory motion if the mass is more it is difficult to put the body in translatory motion if moment of inertia is more it is difficult to put the body in rotational motion moment of inertia is defined as product of mass of each particle with the square of the distance from the axis of rotation and summation of all the particles uh, moment of inertia that means if you are having a body like this if it is its axis of rotation we have to identify mass of each particles from the axis of rotation we have to identify distance of each particle from the axis of rotation and if we have to calculate moment of inertia i have to add all of them just for simplicity um, i can assume that uh, all the particles are having the same masses then we can write m r1 square m r2 square and so on there is nothing but summation of all the moment of inertia of individual particles but now we want to express it in a little bit simpler way what is that take the same body take the same axis of rotation now i am not interested in calculating the mass of each particle and the distance of each particle from the axis of rotation so with respect to axis we will identify a point where the total mass appears to be at that particular point of the body from the axis if it is at a certain distance we can call that distance as a radius of gyration then we can write moment of inertia as m k square so what is the radius of gyration simply instead of calculating the mass of each particle and the distance of each particle from the axis of rotation let us identify a point in the body where the total mass appears to be concentrated from the axis of rotation then the distance of that particular point from the axis of rotation is called as a radius of a gyration so we can write radius of gyration as a effective distance of all the particles of the body from the axis of rotation they are actually equal therefore if i just equate both of them i can write mr1 square mr2 square and so on equal to mk square where capital m is the mass of the entire body itself or small m is the mass of the individual particles let number of the particles are n body is having certain number of the particles that they are equal to n then i can rewrite the above equation as m r1 square m r2 square and so on as m into n why m is the mass of individual particle multiply with n then you will be getting the total mass so i can cancel that m now what happens then r1 square we can cancel that m because mass is common on both the equations then i can write r1 square